Hi everyone, we're going to use two examples of how to use the complementary angle theorem. The first one we're going to do is, and I already did an introduction to the complementary angle theorem, so I suggest you watch that one first. Okay, we have this one here, and we want to simplify this without using a calculator. So I can either change this to cosine, because sine and cosine are cofunctions, or this to sine. And I'm going to go ahead and change the second part to sine. So I have sine of 38 degrees minus cos, um, I'm changing it to sine. So it'll be sine of 90 minus 52 degrees. So what we get is sine of 38 minus sine of 38, I'm talking about degrees, this equals zero. Okay? So it's just basically uh, subtracting from 90 since they're complementary angles. Now, um, the second one's very similar. We have tan of 12 degrees minus cotan of 78 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead, and you can change either one of these but I'm going to go ahead and change um, this second part just to be consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and write tan of 12 degrees minus tan, since I'm changing this to its co-function, of 90 minus 78 degrees. So that gives us tan of 12 degrees minus tan of 12 degrees which equals zero again. Okay. Um, here's another one. Let's go on a different slide. We have cosine of 10 degrees over sine of 80 degrees. I know that cosine and sine are cofunctions. I'm going to go ahead and change the, the numerator to sine. So it's going to be sine of 90 minus 10 degrees over sine of 80 degrees. So we get sine of 80 degrees divided by sine of 80 degrees, and that equals 1. And we have another one like that. We have cosine of 40 degrees over sine of 50 degrees. So this equals, if I change the numerator, so you could change the denominator if you want it, 90 degrees minus 40 degrees over sine of 50 degrees. So you get sine of 50 degrees divided by sine of 50 degrees, and this equals 1. Okay? And we have... Uh, one where we're going to use uh, Pythagorean identities. We have 1 minus cosine squared of 20 degrees minus cosine squared of 70 degrees. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change this to uh, sine. I want my angles to be the same. They have to be the same before I can use my identities. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. Remember, this is going to be sine of 90 degrees minus 70 degrees, which is sine of 20. So we get 1 minus cosine squared of 20 minus sine squared of 20. That's from here. Now I'm going to go ahead and quantify this. When I put this in parentheses, this changes to a positive. All right, I know that this equals 1 through my Pythagorean identity, so I get 1 minus 1 equals 0. Okay, the next one's similar. Um, I have 1 plus tan squared of 5 degrees minus cosecant squared of 85 degrees. The first thing I'm going to do 
is change this to seek it. That's your uh, Pythagorean identity. I know that 1 plus tan squared of an angle is uh, secant squared. All right. Now, again, I can change either this one. We have two co-functions. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. This would be cosecant uh, squared of 90 minus 5 degrees. Minus 85 degrees, sorry. That's going to give me secant squared of 5 degrees. So we have secant squared of 5 degrees from this one minus this one. And that equals 0. Okay. The next set I have is um, this one. I have tan of 20 degrees minus cosine of 70 degrees over cosine of 20 degrees. Now, what I'm going to do first is write this as sine. So this would be sine of 90 minus 70 degrees, which gives me sine of 20 degrees. So we're going to have tan of 20 minus um, sine of 20 over cosine of 20, all degrees, which equals, this is your trig ratio. So we have tan of 20 degrees minus tan of 20 degrees, and this equals zero. Okay, and the next problem is very similar. We have cotan of 40 minus sine of 50 over sine of 40. Now when you see something like this, what you want is you want all the degrees to be the same. So this is a 40 and this is a 40. I'm going to change this to 40. <laughs> so I know that from doing all this now that this is going to be cosine of what? 40. Just using your um, complementary angle theorem. So we're going to get cotan of 40 minus cosine of 40 over sine of 40, which equals cotan of 40 minus, this equals cotan, cotan of 40 degrees, which equals zero. Okay, and the last two are very similar, um, but a little scary looking. So we have a cosine of 35 degrees times sine of 55 degrees plus cosine of 55 degrees times sine of 35 degrees. Now I have to decide what I'm going to make all my angles. Um, I'm either going to make them 35s or 55s. So I'm going to go ahead and make everything 35. So if I show my work here, I'll have cosine of 35 times cosine of 90. Let's take this out. All right. Cosine of 90 minus 35 plus sine of 90 minus 50, oh, this should be 55. Ninety minus uh, fifty-five times sine of thirty-five. Now, basically, what happens is I'm trying to make all of these thirty-fives. So I get cosine of thirty-five times cosine of thirty-five plus sine of thirty-five times sine of thirty-five. Now, since I have two of these, it's like saying x times x is x squared. So I get cosine squared of 35 plus sine squared of 35. And since my angles are the same, that equals 1 through my Pythagorean identity. Okay, and the last one 
is a secant of 35 times cosecant of 55, so very similar, minus tan of 35 times cotan of 55. Now, since we've already gone through these, I'm going to make all of these 35. So, basically, I already know that 90 minus uh, 55 is 35. So, I'm going to use my co-functions, and this is just going to turn to secant, his uh, co-function. And I'm going to keep everything 35, so this is going to be uh, tan. And this is going to change to cotan. Oh, not to tan. Um, it's going to change to tan. Now, just like on the previous slide, we're going to square this. And uh, what we get is, um, <coughs> oh, I don't like the way they did it. Um, we know that from our identities, um, we have that 1 plus tan squared of an angle equals secant squared. So if I move the tan squared over, I get 1 equals secant squared of theta minus tan squared of theta. So this, what is, since my angles are the same, this equals 1. Okay? That's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.